This moment of victory was enormous for AFC Bournemouth, but brought a new challenge for the club. The existing stadium facility was unacceptable for Premier League TV press and training requirements. AFC Bournemouth had just 18 weeks for this decisive moment to upgrade. With no plans drawn up, no planning permissions, no contractors appointed, the task seemed impossible. Modulek were called in by the club's design team. Can this be done? Watch this short video to see what happened. A truly incredible story of teamwork, determination to succeed and a stunning result. The actual design brief was that we had to have the internals of this building ready for the club to move in um, just four weeks after the first module arrived on site. We had an upset around about two or three weeks before the project, we had the results come back of the ground, which is contaminated ground. So we actually had to switch to doing mini piles. Um, we had to do 78 mini piles and we actually still completed the groundworks on time. Um, the building went in on time and the club moved in on time, so we overcame that one. We knew it was going to be a big moment getting our training base in one venue um, and improving the facilities in line with the Premier League. Uh, and we feel now we have a club that is um, you know, moving forward into uh, the league that we're in. I think the speed um, of which they work, the, uh, the quality of their craft and, um, and the manner in which they did it as well. Um, everyone that we met was uh, very friendly to deal with. I think it's contributed to um, the overall standard of what we're trying to deliver to the players, which in turn, it will help results, maybe not directly, but certainly um, when you combine everything together, it was a huge step for the club. So I can't thank everybody enough. I think the most important room is probably the, uh, the chamber room with the pool in, the, uh, the ice bath and, and the warm bath as well. Uh, a lot of lads are in there after training. It's good for mobility work and, and for recovering and cooling down in, in the ice bath and then in the hot bath. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, I think all the top clubs have good facilities to work in. And um, we're now obviously trying to push the bar up and um, with this new facility we're certainly doing that. The speed of the build was very quick and the, um, the, the facilities themselves are very good so uh, yeah, certainly reaping the rewards. From our side of it, uh, you know, especially sort of the coaching side and, and management, it's been a fantastic facility, you know, something we've, you know, we've, we've never had at the football club and to have it sort of at the standard that it's at and you know, so close to our training pitches is you know, a, a real you know, fantastic thing for us. Professionalism and the, the speed of how they worked, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I think you can work really quickly, but then the, the quality suffers. But, you know, not only has the, you know, the quality been very good, the, the speed of that it was put together was excellent. Especially how quickly it was, you know, put together uh, was, was quite unreal, really. So to, to have it sort of up and running and, and working as it is in such a short space of time has been, you know, been a, a great credit to obviously you guys and you know for us the facility is fantastic and you know we, we couldn't ask for anything more.